Hello and welcome back to a, another series of Your Raw, um, series two, episode five. And I wanted to, um, it's the Christmas period and it's nice that um, I've been sent in a, a nice snow image to, to edit. Now, snow images can be quite frustrating and quite difficult. Um, so hopefully we can simplify that and um, create a nice image. So the image again has been sent in by um, Paul Baker. He got stuck up in the in the snow um, about a month or so ago with Darren Ginger Captures. Um, they've gone for an adventure up there and it snowed really heavy. I think both of them damaged the vehicles trying to get home. It was a 24 hour adventure getting home. So um, yeah, let's just say they had, a, they had a, an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> so he sent me three images. Um, we'll go through the, the three, but I'm only probably gonna edit the one. The first one, as the scene's so nice and I like the angle, what comes to mind is what am I looking at? So therefore I'm going to dismiss this one just because it's what am I looking at. I think if we'd have cropped in closer to these here, these trees, then maybe there's an image around there. But I'm just not feeling at all, so we're going to leave that one. The next one is a beautiful scene of the... Um, the sheep in the field and these lovely trees covered in snow look really good. So there's another one. Yeah, so I think we can we can definitely work with, with that image. And then the third one would be with this one, which is another nice image. I just don't think it's quite got the appeal of the second image, this one here. So I think we'll have a go at working on this one. So First impressions are it's underexposed. We need to bring a little bit of life back into it. What I do like about it, that it must have been quite a fast shutter speed because a full inch of a second, because I like the, we can see the snow falling. So that I really like that. We've got a lovely dust spot in the, the right hand corner there. And I know if we up the DAs, there's gonna be more dotted around but not too bad it's not too bad what am I going to do with the image what's drawing me to this image is is this this center this group of trees here um, with a couple of the sheep in front of it it's sort of this central area so I'm definitely going to crop in I think this tree's looking interesting here but it's only half a tree um, if it would have gone wider or moved to the pan to the right a little bit, I think that would have really worked. I'm definitely going to crop in this image. I'm just going to move out a little bit and have a, a little study. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crop into this image. I do like this, this tree here and I like the, the patterns in these trees here. So let's crop in and have a look just to see what we think. So somewhere... around there. I like the fact that we can see, just see the mountains behind. Just try and centralise it a little bit more. Somewhere there. I'm looking at the outer edges, but I think I'm going to remove some of the sheep, to be honest. That, that's, that's pretty much my crop. So now we just need to, to process the image. I think the first thing I'll do is, I'll just get rid of any dust spots. So we'll, we'll just send it into um, Lumina Neo. And we'll just ask it to remove the dust spots. It's a fantastic bit of kit. Um, and it, it does remind me of the time when I, I took a photo of this, this tree up on the, the left ear. A blizzard, oh, it was fantastic and it almost looks the blizzard almost looks as it's made it into more of a, a sketch it looks like a sketch so, so we've just got that up in neo we're going to go to edit and i'm just going to go to the erase tool open that and we're going to remove dust spots replace and then we'll 
that will send me straight back into uh, Lightroom. So like I say, we need to start to make it feel a bit more, rather than it dull, we want to brighten that up a bit. So what I suggest to do when you're, when you're taking images in the snow is just to up that exposure a little bit. It'll always try and compensate for it because of this, this vast whiteness. What I am going to do, I'm going to push the DAEs up because I want to bring out a little, a little bit of these snowflakes. So I'm going to try and really shove the DAEs quite hard. Let's just come out. Um, and it's starting to give me sort of horrible vignetting. So I'm wondering if I can counteract that. Let's let's push the DAs back down to there. But let's try and work on part of the image and just add the DAs to that. I think the best way for me to do that is with a brush. So I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to work the DAs and I'm going to see how far I can push it. Quite a big brush. And that is definitely too much. But now I can just drop that back down and I can also drop the shadows down. Or would we be better with the blacks? There we go. So we bring in little bits of detail out, but without destroying the image. So can we push? You know what? I think that is enough there. I think that is enough. We're starting to get a, a bit of a, a vignette around the actual image. So we're going to have to try and... I don't mind a bit of vignette, but I don't really want it. It's too strong, so we're going to have to try and remove that. So let's get a, a, a radial filter. Let's put it around there. Invert, and I'm going to bring the exposure up a little bit. And all I'm trying to do is actually just balance the image out a little bit. And I think that's done a nice job of that. It's actually done a nice job. So that, that's worked quite well. The next thing I want to do is get rid of distractions. One distraction for me, it's a big distraction, is the sheep here and the sheep right on the edge. And I might just try and get rid of one or two more. So what we'll do is, rather than using Lumina, we'll edit in Photoshop, because that's just my preferred go-to to remove things. We're all different, we can all use different things. We could even use Lightroom, but I'm just, Photoshop seems to me to do the best job. So we're just gonna grab the remove tool, just up the size, and we're just gonna start removing things. we just come out now I think that for me looks so much better we'll probably remove that little bit of a it's like a bit of water there or something the other little dirty patch there and that looks so much better so so much better so again we'll now save that We'll jump back into Lightroom very quickly. That's the removed, that's the non-removed, and I think it just cleans it up. And it centralises your eye, and it sends you looking at these these sheep, I think the Birdwick, not quite sure, don't quote me on that, and then through the image from left to right, really. So that, that's quite nice. So now all I'm after now is is just to bring a little bit of a bit more detail I think. So we'll 
I think what I'm going to do first is we'll just up the contrast a little bit. And what that's doing is making these trees stand out a little bit more if we carry on going. It will really make them stand out more. But it's a fine balance and I think it's, a, it's subjective. It's what you feel is best for the image. And like I say, everybody's different. We, if we wanted to bring that out a bit more, we could do that. But what, what we could do then is maybe, I want separation from these four trees from the background tree. So what we could do if we grab a brush and we up the whites a little bit, I think we could bring these trees out a little bit more in the foreground. We could even push that a little bit further, I think, to somewhere there. And then we can do opposite for the background and we can up the blacks a little bit and just come round where we want it to be. If we just drop back a little bit there, have a look. Just have a look at the difference now. So there's not a lot of difference, but there's more depth to the image and that's what we're creating. There's a lot more depth to the image. And it's starting to already almost be a final product, I think. I would like to get a bit of sharpness in this foreground again so we'll just grab a, a brush and I'm just going to up texture and again up sharpness and we'll just paint over this area just to really make these foreground trees pop even more so. There we go. Now the other thing I think we need to do is probably do a little bit of um, denoise. So what I'm going to do again is now we'll use Topaz Denoise. So that looks so much better. So we'll just apply that and that will clean the image up quite nicely, hopefully. Now what I would like to do is just These sheep look just a hint too dark. So I'm just going to see if I can just drop down them blacks a little bit or bring out the shadows. So I've selected a brush. We'll just drop the shadows and I'm just going to paint over these sheep a little bit. And I already see that they can they look so much better but I'm also going to paint over that bit there because I don't like this dirty mound here. I think I'm going to select another brush and go a little bit more aggressive with the shadows. We'll, we'll try and get rid of that and probably drop the blacks down so it's not as obvious. So it's a cleaner image, literally a cleaner image. And I think that's a real nice scene. That's a real nice shot. Um, nice and simple which is what we want we want nice and simple so we started off with with this um, underexposed image with quite flat and we wanted to bring out the subject of these trees so we we added one or two processes brought out that detail and then ended up with a nice clean a quite a beautiful shot actually and like I say, I like how we've got subjects in this bottom left hand third, the main subject towards the middle, and then the mountains as they fade away in the background. It's really nice.
if you are enjoying this series of um, your raw then why not come to my um, my community on YouTube and join in there where there's more in-depth editing techniques that I'll be, be doing especially in the future so get over to my YouTube channel if you're interested it's $1.99 a month so it's pennies um, that'll help this channel out as well which would be fantastic and help me create more of these these types of video again I hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and thanks for supporting me over the years and um, I'll see you soon